on it. You want me to do this? Hello. Welcome to the eSports competition today. I'm CJ. I'm AJ. And, uh, yeah, let's have fun today. So we're, we're a little behind right now. We, we're three bands in and two picks. Um, what side? Okay. We have a Brom for Shores and a Jarvan the fourth. That's going to be a strong jungler. Hmm. So, uh, what do you think about uh, the strategy today? What do you think Shores will go for? Um, can't tell from here. Not enough picks through. But with the Syndrome Ward and a Moomoo being banned, that, that's three of the biggest champions for Shores down already. Mm. Okay, let's see. Ooh, and a Zach. Oh, that's I remember be, that. The last time I was here. That's that's a scary jungler. Hmm. Uh, Shores is up for the picking. Ooh. Jinx. Jinx. That's <coughs> not something I've seen Shane play very much. So, that's interesting. Oh, there Yone. was a band. That's, and set, yeah. Okay. And now, who are we playing today? Um... I'm not sure. Hmm. And the Lissandra band, that's that's big. And uh, the other top laner just walked in. Our other top laner just walked in. Mike, who are we playing? Oh, sorry. Oh, the East Kentwood. Oh, okay. We are playing against East Kentwood, so Ooh. Kenan, okay. That that's a strong pick for Alex. Now East Kentwood is picking. That's going to be decently scary with her recent buff. Now, what kind of character is Annie? Um, short range mage. So she, short range bur, short range burst mage. So deals a lot of damage pretty quickly with a burn. With a and with a stun, and I think that is a vain top. Which is interesting. These are some very interesting pigs. Yes. But that's just the wonderful thing about gaming. Anything can happen. Yeah. Ooh. That's a that's a Malphite top. I thought it would be Cannon as a Cannon mid. So Bradley's going to be on Cannon.
Now we're in spectator uh, delay. Uh, I don't know what to think about this match. I haven't seen what East Kent once been doing this se this uh, season, but at least last season they were decent. Hmm. How did they do last season? Um, I think they were in the top ten. If they, they were definitely in the championships. Oh. So four or five, I think. Maybe three. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but this is a matchup that I haven't really seen much of from our from Shores. Or a team comp. I've not seen from Shores with the Jinx and the Cannon not being mains. So, is there anything to uh, expect today from either teams? I don't know. Ooh, one minute remaining. We will shortly be on our way. So we see Jinx with Cleanse, which is an interesting pick. There is no heal bot lane for Shores, which is not something you usually see out of a bot lane. So now, since they're splitting up, what are they uh, currently doing? Um, they're currently uh trying to prevent uh, invades off of in bot lane. Hmm. To stop uh, the opponent from getting a uh, buff. Okay. Minions have spawned. And the... Uh, and East Kent would spot lane hang back a little farther than I would expect for for typical.
Now, who is that guy with the attack? Uh, that is blue buff. Here's uh, mana regen. The primary use of blue buff. Uh, other than money. Ooh, and we are fighting already. Uh, some uh, major, major. Decent trade, yeah. About even trade there. With uh, Bradley now being up on that on the trading there. As is Alex. No damage bot lane seems to have happened. With Shores seeming to be slightly up on CS at about 1k gold up as well. Now, with gold, you always want to be above your opponent, right? Yeah. Because then the more gold, the more you can. Buy, buy more, buy better items, more items. And then the items, if you buy more items, that's right. Mm, yes. Ooh, that, that's a bad trade bot lane, but... The Morgana pit. Ooh, that might be first kill. No, no, it's not gonna be. But... First bot lane taking a lot of damage. Ooh, damn And then going in for something close to a kill. And the tower taking damage already. Ooh, and Shane looks like he needs to back already. He's quite low. Um Noah is currently far up on CS. With first kill going to uh, J4. Now, when you say CS, what is CS? A uh, minion. Ooh, and a flash out of um, Shane. Quite early. Second game coming out from Noah won't be very effective. And Bradley looks like he's gonna have to back here. Shane has back. And Shores is up 1k gold already. Doing vision. And back aim. Now and then, ooh, that is a... That is Zach, very <coughs> low. Not even able to take Grom. That is... Not good for East Kentwood. East Kentwood's jungler is very far behind. With Shores' bot lane being up a few CS, about six now. <coughs> oh, and we have uh, a little PvP right there. Ooh, and the spell shield coming out from Morgana, not doing much. That's... Taking some damage there. Yeah. Try I think I'm trying to see spell shield. And Ooh. first dragon coming from t going to shores. Now, what was that that, that they killed? Was it a Drake? Yes. If I remember correctly, Drake's. Drake's are important. As is both Harold and Baron later in the game. But having the first Drake so early and a, and a bot gank. 
already. This is seeming to be a rather one size. Oh, and that's oh. first kill for uh, East Cantwood. East Cantwood. Still a thousand gold down though. And the Zack is top. That was a very poor gank from Zack. He won't be able to do anything with that. Because he's gonna come from the jungle. And Tibber's going down. Tibber's being very good in current game. Due to the uh, recent uh, tank buffs. Making Tibber is very strong. And a top game as well. Ooh, and that's Malphite ult leading to uh, ooh, Malphite ult and flash out of Malphite. And they did not get that kill. They didn't get the second kill, but it still leaves top lane up two kills. On And up about one and a half thousand gold and getting Harold. We see Shores dominating the map. With CS lead and objective leads. Especially in the jungle. The jungle lead? is insane right now. 51 to 10 CS. With about a 10 CS difference on every other lane. Other than top. This is going very well for Shores. Now, what kind of a strategy is Shores going for right now? Um, they're just doing laning phase right now. This is in. So this is uh, laning phase is uh, the first phase of the game where you're trying to take care. So, ooh, ooh. and a trade and a one-one trade with Jinx going down. Ooh, but they can be coming in alt for a second on. The uh, Zaya falling, making a two-one trade, and Shores is up over two thousand gold right now. This is another gank top for Zach. I don't think this is gonna go well for him. In vain. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that was Malphite Alt coming out to save himself. I'm expecting to see J4 backing and then resetting for Great here. Ooh, look at this. The tower is taking damage right now. Very little. Ooh. Ooh, that was a trade. That is a trade. It is. And that is a bad trade. Ooh, and the Tibbers comes out to save Annie. Oh, but Tibbers doesn't isn't alive, so it they're both one hit right now. If either of them get hit, they are dead. In mid lane. It looks like Annie has backed, so... Just poke coming out bot lane. That's... 
about decent, but we see red team, team getting second dragon as well. And it is Fire Soul. So red team, it looks like red team is going to be doing a lot more damage with no objective control coming out of East Templar right now. So when it comes to Drake's, isn't there different type of elements of Drake's? Um, yes. There is wind, hex tech, water, fire, and earth. And isn't it if you collect all them you get a special bonus? Uh yes. If you if you get four Drake's you get their uh, soul. Whichever soul is applicable for the game. Well, in and pushing the tower. And the herald coming out bottom to most likely get first. Or I won't get first power. Ooh. Very likely. Ooh, damage. but coming in. The J4 ult coming in. Ooh. To get the kill. On Zaya. And J4 also stealing, um, stealing Krugs from Zach, who is still, who is over 50 CS down. The only CS lead is on Vayne, and that is because Vayne is an 80, or is an 80. Or a uh, ADC running that can run top versus Malphite. Ooh, and a lot of damage coming out from Cannon there. And tons of poke going on to the uh, Morgana. With not much in return. And Cannon going in with his ult, leading to a kill. Ooh. <coughs> Being 4,000 gold ahead, that is a lot of gold ahead. And Mona Shores has... Ooh, yeah. and a bot game. Coming out, what time we got? Mona Shores has a big lead on Has uh, a East massive Kent. lead. But it looks like first tower might be going down here. Oh no, but there, there comes the Super Mega Death Rocket from Jinx, not doing much. Zaya popping heal as well. It looks like the game has finished. While we are waiting for the replay to finish. That is a killing spree on J4. With item lead being massive on the cannon and the J4. With Zack not had, I don't know what Zack is building. I don't think Zack is building anything right now. That is a problem for Ace Countwood. With Bambi's. Ooh, in high damage on the tower right now. Yeah. Multiple towers are the question, right now. My question is, why does Zack have a magic item if he's going AP or armor? This could be interesting. I don't think it it's not gonna last that this much longer. It's I'm predicting ending at nineteen. Well you can't count some that. Too late at the game. Remember, mm -hmm. anything can happen. At this point, it's almost a guaranteed win from Shores.
It does look to be that they are dominating. With Shores being three, three turrets up, two heralds up, two drakes up, and eight kills, eight kills up. It's it, this is going to be incredibly Ooh, difficult for East has Catwood to come back from. Shores is being definitely aggressive right now. This is definitely the best performance I've seen out of Shores since I've casted. Which this is the second week of me casting, so. This is my second week too, but maybe it's because I'm here. Mm. Oh, and the two on one. Mm. But J4 is there with Brawl. And they're gonna get Drake 3 here, it looks like, with Zach being top lane. Or in top jungle. I'm. It's looking like it's going. From what I can see here, it looks like this Zach is a new player. This Zach is not doing what he needs to be doing. That's exactly what I expected. And he doesn't. Zach dying once again. Oh no, Zach survived. Because of his passive. Now, what is his passive? Um, he, he gets to split up when he dies, and if all of his little blobs get back to him, he revives with a certain level of health. Hmm. <clears throat> that is very beneficial. Yes. I was a bit off on the end time, but it's going to be another one or two minutes. There is heavy pushing on mid lane. And bot lane has top lane has Pryo right now with a uh, Vayne and Zach being in bot jungle, and nobody being in top lane for East Campbell. The Vayne going Ooh. in here is a massive mistake to a double kill. Possibly for, oh, no. the J4 did shut down. The first death from, or the second death from Noah. Oh, and the Tibber's coming out, but not doing much here. It looks like a Baron is up. I would expect um, Shores to attempt the Baron here relatively soon. Most likely right now is when they're going to uh, be going toward Baron, which is most definitely the win con here. If Shores gets barren, they just win. And this is a uh, bot or T2 turret bot going down. With a 
with a blundering call making, everybody going for the Malphite, while the rest of Monoshores does Baron. This is going to be a survival for Malphite and a Baron coming out with Monoshores. East Kentwood here has lost. Now, what does Baron Nashers do? Um, gives minor stat bonuses, but more importantly, strengthens minions massively. Oh, and it looks like um, Mona Shores is going to be preparing for Drake here. With a pick on the brawl. Not getting out, getting killed by the uh, veins. True damage. <clears throat> but the brawl is not the pick that they needed. Ooh, is that coming in? Pendant all coming out and getting a double kill. But being shut down by a. Ooh! Is I alt? Into a. a J4 alt. Now, what are blue inhibitors? Um, blue inhibitors, when destroyed, allow super minions to, to spawn for a red side. Now, do you need all of them? Um, you need one each lane in hit. Yeah. There is an inhibitor for each lane, and that lane, if that inhibitor is destroyed, spawns super minions for the enemy team. And Red Team has gotten Fire Soul here. So if the game lasts, which I don't think it will, it has gone longer than I expected it to. Baron has worn off for Mona Shores. Please excuse me. And it looks like it's going to be the final push here for Mona Shores. Coming up on... On... Shores is pushing very hard Second now. in hit, five man... Or three man? Three man again. Five minutes on Elder, three minutes on Baron. I don't think those objectives are going to be... Uh, gotten here because because sure is gonna end relatively quickly here clearing all three inhibs here and a day for all catching all four of the five members of these cowboys Oh! Blue team double kill. But it looks like there's gonna be a quad or four deaths out of Shores. But the fact that Shores is 10,000 gold up. And J4 is currently up about. 90 CS and uh, at least two items. What? I'm 
I'm just looking there. Does that... It looks... That may be a support item from the Zack, which is... Ugh. Not a good thing. Now, when you're talking about these items, like, what do they use it for? Um, <clears throat> mainly stats, unless you're jungle or support. Where support... Support items can place down wards, and jungle items give you better smite. The cannon seems to be doing a ton of damage here. And it looks like they aren't able to push to towers. With Baron coming up in 15 seconds. This game has gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. Ooh, another oh, This is going to be the end. This for is an Yes, that is an ace out of one of yours. Now, what are aces? Uh, all five. So, if everybody on the team is dead. And that game went on longer than I thought it would. But it was a very good game by Shores. It, it was an, a domination from Mona Shores. The strategy will probably be different for East Kenfoot in next round. Mm, I'm not sure. It seemed like at least their jungler was is rather new to the game. And we will be taking a break.
Welcome back to Motor Shores Esports um, League of Legends stream. Uh, we're currently in Champ Select, and it looks like you're not even gonna comment on the fact that I'm not a ginger. I mean, yeah, we're just fair. gonna pretend like we're the same guy. We're definitely not. Okay, so yes, CJ had to leave, and so pinch hitting for this game is yours truly. So buckle up. This should be fun. All right, go back to your nerd stuff. Um. Zeri Lulu from Mona Shores. That's something we saw last week didn't go too well. Okay, so maybe they're working on that. But it looks like the same bands out of East Kentwood, except for they swapped the Mordekaiser for Fiora, which makes sense. I mean, Mordekaiser is a stronger character. That's a no. No. Okay. Not in this case. Okay. Because Levi is playing. So Levi is going to cancel all the Mordekaiser? Maybe. They've banned his two most played top laners, being Akali and Fiora. And they've also gotten Brad, Lissandra, and Syndra. No, I'm just mad. Which. Did they put an umlaut on there? <laughs> Is that an umlaut? On which one? It's sleepy. It looks like Sleepy Bun. It looks like Sleepy Boon. Like, is that just my eyes? Or it's is that probably an umlaut. An umlaut down there. If that is an umlaut, and if anybody from East Kentwood is watching this, please congratulate that kid, because that's pretty awesome. You know, you just don't see enough umlauts these days. You know Fair. What I'm talking about? We, we, I mean, like, maybe in Germany, but I'm talking about here in America. You know, or, a country that Or matters. Sweden. They don't have umlauts in Sweden. They have like the O's with the slashes through them. Fair. German, I'm pretty sure German is, the, or German is the only language that has the umlaut. I mean, that's a German phrase or a German word. I mean, yeah, but Swedish is also a Germanic li linguistic Yeah, but so base. is English if you're going to go that far. No, Sweden has Yeah, like the, but English also got Frenchized. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not insult our language here, okay? Let's, it's true. We just don't have to break it up. Fair. All right, we got Vex, Jax, Lulu. Ooh, and a fiddle. Jarvan is our so four female characters, is that right? No. Three. Which one's not? Jax. Jax. Okay. And then we have Mordekaiser, Fiddlesticks, Yone, Zaya, and Seraphine. So, what the hell's Fiddlesticks? A uh, demon. Also, language. But, and, and that's PG. <laughs> that, that's a demon, fiddlesticks. Yep, demon of fear. Fear of what? Like little children? That's like... Uh, uh, uh. I mean, fiddlesticks is a, is a word that old people like me used to use so they didn't curse. Like instead of saying the F word, you'd say, like, oh, fiddlesticks. That's what that sounds like. Like it's yeah. a stand-in for a curse word, like fudge or mother trucker or cheese and rice. You're, I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> someone who shall not be named is mouthing profanities to us right now. We <laughs> won't say anything about her because her mother might be watching, and if her mother finds out what a potty mouth she has, she's going to be in a lot of trouble, so we won't name her. <laughs> but anyway, fiddlesticks would be a much better way of saying the F word. I mean, that's what people say, right? Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So based on this layout, drafting, um, draft, whatever you want to call it, what are we ahead, behind? Did we draft well? What's going on here? Explain this to me, Andrew. You're too slow. Let's go. Come on. Keep it coming. It's not I, – I won't be able to tell here. It's Crack analysis. <laughs> I can totally picture the game here. Come on, come on. You know more about it? Come on, come on, come on. Let's um, go. Bradley on the Vex. Uh, that's going to be rather scary. The Jarvan that we saw last game did really well. But it's a Vex versus a Yone, right? Yes. And Jax versus Mordekaiser, as you predicted. Jarvan uh, versus Old Fiddlesticks. With, with Lee. I cannot believe that's the actual name. <laughs> that's a 
you can't name a demon something that you use to not curse. <laughs> you know, that's like, that's just counterintuitive. That shouldn't be right. You know, I should not talk as much smack about Riot and their <laughs> games and their characters because they're going to boot us off. And they're going to blame me. And you know what? You, you do, gonna be you do realize that everybody just says, oh, yeah, no, it's Riot's fault. I guess. But that one is Riot's fault. Fiddlesticks. Ah, thank God we didn't choose that because I'd have to have another talk with these boys. <sighs> Jax that is. just does not strike fear <laughs> in the hearts of men. <clears throat> if you're going to give me a demon name, I want a demon like, you know, I don't know. Tom Kench. Or like Lucifer. Like that is something that, that strikes fear. Or, you know, I don't know. Like something with, with like, I got it. I, I can't even think of a good cacophonous name. But fiddlesticks definitely isn't it. Would you rather be attacked by a portal or by a demon in fiddlesticks? Oh, God. Both of them are embarrassing ways to go out. <laughs> like, call it cancer. You know, like the crab, but it's also a horrible disease? That strikes fear in people's hearts. Not, oh, fiddlesticks. That's like, ooh, I'm going up against a demon named Gosh. I mean... when you leave. All right, here we go. Wait, now it says Jaximus. That, that's the skin. That's the skin? All right. Fiddle me timbers. The, what the hell's that thing? Lulu? Is that like a little girl? Are they sending a little girl in the battle? What is this, Rwanda? <laughs> Why are they sending a small little... <laughs> No, <laughs> it's, it's a, just so wrong. And it, it's a yordle. And there's like beefcake over here. It, it's a yordle. They're immortal. What's a yordle? Immortal fairy beings. What? Vex this, is isn't also this supposed a, to be a battle. Isn't this supposed to be like yes, like a war? No, nah. yordle. Yeah. No, we don't want chat. We don't want chat, and we also don't want the um, time. Yeah, you got it. All right, all right, here we go. So, Vex is technically also a little girl, but yeah, if you want to really make fun of little girls, it's Zoe. I make fun of little girls every time I go to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong there. <laughs> wow, that sounds really bad out of context. I should probably clarify that. You, you know. mean uh, Wisconsin, right? <laughs> All right, is this, are these good guys or bad guys we're looking at right here? That would be uh, East Kentwood. Okay. So what are they doing? Just chilling? Yep, they're waiting for uh, spawn. And that looks to me to be a bad strategy. If they're just going to sit there all game. Or... Uh, they're not going to gank. Got it. Or not gank, invade. So they're just going to they have gathering it. strength? They're, 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 they're just, they're warding off an invade from shores, which is not going to happen here. All right. So... What Again, are we doing? Uh, the same thing. Okay, so we're just Wait, waiting for buffs to spawn for a jungle. Got it. Here we go. All right. First little engagement mid. Now that's Cinder, that's Brad, formerly known as Taco. On that. Elder Drake now. Is Elder Drake I think that's, Noah? Yeah, that's Noah. Oh, okay. So you got top lane, jungle, mid, bots, right? Yep. And Mordecai is looking like something. he's going to be first kill already. First blood should come up pretty soon here. I'll leave a hand uh, to kill some minions. No, the ignite doesn't get it. Very early ignite from Levi. But the Mordecai's are stayed. If Mordecai pushes out from under turret, he's dead. 
Yeah, so he should have gone back to base, right? Not necessarily. If he stays under turret, he's fine. Just because Levi isn't strong enough to get on the Yes. So it's like 2v2 down here? Yeah. It's... So we don't look oh, like he has he, it in Get him, Levi. Comes. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. Come on, Levi. That's twice now. He was close, but no cigar. He doesn't have Ignite anymore. Actually, you can't say that anymore because your generation of shit, you know, doesn't like tobacco related. Is what you would get. Is that Lulu with the little thing there? Yep. Uh, A really early gank from Yone. Trying to save the Mordekaiser. But doesn't happen. But it's a 1 1 trade. Which. And that took the Yone out of mid lane, so we should have the advantage of the mid lane. Yes, right? we should be gaining a gold lead here. Okay. So that wasn't, I mean, it was a trade, but that. It's, we're so still we even. Should, okay, so then. Even in gold. Yours is up about 1k gold right now, or uh, 100 gold. And a little poke coming out from Vex here. With our Zeri being a bit low on health. Another enemy. And a gank from Fiddlesticks mid. Which will not pan out to anything here. Running on empty. Heads up. So what's Brad doing? Are you in mid lane? Shouldn't we be getting an advantage here if their mid laner is going all over the place? Not necessarily. Why not? Because if the lane open, but we should have the advantage the lane, he's, right? a, he, uh, he's a kill up, but CS down. Don't even think about it. But it looks like about even right now. Because they're still on first item. And it should be about the same level. Lose the path. Right, but he's got minion reinforcements coming. <laughs> Ooh, and here comes get the second him, kill. Get him, Levi. Oh! Second kill out of uh, yeah, boy, Jack. And Vex is going to get a kill as well. And a boy. There we go. Now we're definitely in, a, in the advantage. Of yes, the we are the definitely map. leading. So what should uh, we do right now? Should Brad go up and try to take towers? And um, help out top lane? Or no. vice versa? Or what? We're going to... Why not? Because top lane is an island. You don't want to gank top lane. Why not? Because typically their their champions are split pushers. And it looks like they're gonna not get Drake from short. Oh, they're pulling it out. That's but we have vision on it, so. Yes. And... We and we got it, and he's out. Nice. Oh, good job. Yeah, still that was worth it. And that's a kill on Zeri. That's good. Nice, nice, good job, guys. Mm. Mordekaiser healed, or did he... He no, uh, no, healed with his shield. So, okay. He probably did heal. But that was a good trade from Mona Shores. Absolutely. Getting that Drake the early. Dragon, what we do, lost one guy. Yeah, we, we, we lost our jungler. We killed two theirs and got a dragon. That, that's, a good, that's a good deal for us. Mm-hmm. 
That is a very good trade. With kills on good people as well. Is very much so. Even though he doesn't have ignite up. That's probably the Why way. does top lane have to play on an Why can't we um, double up on top lane? I, that's the part I don't understand. Like, there's nothing preventing you, right? It's just a. It's because you want to get as much XP on him as on the top laner as possible so he can become a carry. And here comes a. Ooh, Mordal coming out early. That's. And it's an ineffective Mordal here. The more not getting the kill off that all is very bad for him. But the fiddle. Was that for us or them? It's bad for them because yeah. Mordal is decisive and usually leads to a kill. How they will, how they unleash that. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. This looks like it's going to be a double kill Bam, from bot lane. Mordekaiser's are hurting. Or no, a single kill from bot lane. Yeah, and still Morde kill, kill. Mordekaiser is not dead. No one missed him. Yeah, Levi's really low on him. Oh, and Jax got him with, I think that was his ult. Possibly. But we have Mordekaiser backing here. So it's going to be even top lane with back. Oh. No, yeah. It will be even on backing for top lane. And looks like Brad is getting quite a lot of damage on the Yone. Well, they're not doing very well here. Mid lane. Harold is up, and both junglers are moving at it. But it looks like it's going to be a gank from Fiddle mid. Looking like it's going. It's not going to be an effective gank. Wow, this is like watching ADD. <laughs> Let's just pick a lane here for crying out loud. There's just too much going on. There's not actually much going on right now. Well, maybe not to a uh, teenage brain, but to a middle aged brain, this is like, what, what am I seeing here? So I guess, man, that's jumping around a lot. Oh, and it looks like. So Skylark ran away, and then. This is, this is our bot lane. Dealing. I think either of those man, man, uh, manions? Minions? Since when can I speak? So there's our jungler back at full strength. So he reset, right? Looks Yes, and it looks like he's gonna pop Harold and get first turret. Here. Ooh, but Fiddle Alt is coming out. That is way too awesome. And Look, dying. Fiddle sticks though. One one or one yeah, one one trade. Uh Shores is still in the lead, but not by much. They're three K gold up. Seraphine has barely hit anything this game. This is mid, right? That was mid. That is mid. And Brad's dead, so we gotta get there quickly, huh? Get him, Levi. Give him. Get him. No. <sighs> More just got tanky enough that it. That he can't one time. They can just take a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. There's Brad finally coming back and defending the tower. 
But Brad also deals a lot of damage. Here, mid. Levi trying to bait out a game or bait out Mordekaiser to try and come kill him, but it doesn't seem to work. So Mordekaiser just hiding behind that turret. It, yeah. Oop, and here comes a kill out of Bradley. So a gank is a double team, is that it? Yes. Okay. You gotta translate to old man for me. That one I understand. And first turret going down. There we go. For sure. Nice. The Mordekais are all coming out, and it looks like it's going to be a death. Not in the ult. And Levi so, gets out. You only get one ult per turn, basically, right? So like he has to channel to get his ult back. He has to, uh, he has to wait for the cooldown to come back up, right. which is... So if you ult and you don't kill your target, that's really bad? As, as Mordekaiser, yeah, because you don't get the stats. Because it steals stats. Is there other champions that that would be okay? To, to, to not kill anything with your ult? Uh, depends. Um, Lulu ult? Maybe one scenario where that would be a good thing. Uh, Pantheon. Okay, but that means nothing to me. Um, Pantheon's ult is... Like purely movement, and is takes so long for it to actually hit that it's used just to get back to lane. Had a boy Levi. All right, so now this is that's us. Levi. We're trying to and kill this dragon. Yep, it's gonna. Be, uh, it looks like they're fighting yeah. us. Yep. So we gotta kill and them. Very first. dead. But. Ooh, that's not good. We might be able to get a, uh... Ooh. That's Yone dead. So that's our guy. No. So Red Team got the dragon. Yep. Okay. Still down, still 2k down still on gold. Even. Still, still not too crazy. Leading in turrets and heralds. But now again, it's another turret down. So we're now about 3k off. Up on CS, both mid and top, and bot. So. CS is what? Um, creep kills. The hell's that? Uh, minions. Oh, so our minions are killing, or we are killing their minions? And killing, that's what's... yeah, killing our minions. Are we're killing their minions? Yes. Got it. And them killing our minions. Okay, where are you seeing? That? It's the yellow numbers next to the portraits on the. So, our guy. Our mid laner has one fourteen right now. Who's one thirty? Who's that guy? One. That's Demon inside me, is that Shane or that That's Demonte? Shane. That's Shane? Demonte is real kill? Uh, yes. What was he doing? Uh, being a sport. Double kill for us, right? Yes. Okay. Ooh, but Fiddle Alt comes out. And Fiddle's dead. That is 4-2-2 on Levi. That is a massive leak coming from Levi, which is... Well, but it looks like Brad's 6-2-3. That's even better. Yes. So he's gotten six kills? Yes. And died twice? Yep. What's Has the it, three, then? Uh, assists. assists. Yeah. Nice. Seraphine missing again. So now is that just player error or uh what? that one was uh Zeri dashing. So Shane dashed. To get so Shane saw what that was. That was coming in and moved out of it. Got out of it. Yeah. It looks like we're gonna have a fight at Harold. 
pretty soon here. Possibly. Yone being down bot. Ooh. That's... Okay, that's our guy. Zyle. Double kills good for us. Oh, and missing the, uh... I missed the all. Oh, huh? Okay. Um, uh, we we get the uh nice. Who is Sorak? What is Soraka? That? Oh, is that uh, it, that's Demonte? The, okay. the more has killed so more Levi kills with after our with his ult. But the ult comes out and we get the kill. Got him. We're now like uh this is our bot lane four to get the here. Yeah. Get about three quarters. What's Levi doing? Where's Levi? Uh where is Levi? Oh, he's, he's running back. Got another turret. Where was that? Mid. Alright. Good job, Brad. We're here missing a lot of those. And, yeah. Is that common? Or and so it much? shouldn't be. But... Like, okay. Look at 165 versus 131. That That is a rather large CS gap for bot lane. Drake is up in a 11 seconds. If Fiddle ganks here and dies, that is a guaranteed Drake for Monocores. Jax goes down. Uh, double kill for them, right? No, for us. Oh, for us? That is Lulu oh, ult coming he, down. I thought Levi just got killed. He did. But we got both the Seraphine and the Fiddle. Okay. That's good. Yes. Oh, Fiddle sticks. Because we have Smite with A4. And that's going to be a... God, this sounds so bad to say in a high school, but a killing spree is a good thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the game. Just in this game. I want to make that very clear. We're only talking about the game. And Small children playing against plush toys, and that's all. There's a uh, Levi stealing a kill, and they're about six thousand gold up. This is a large gold lead. Okay, so things are looking looking up for us. Decent. Okay. Oh wow, mid one must be a Ooh, and that is Fiddle dying again. Wow. Off of uh. Vexal. Harold going down to get T3 turret and Jax getting another kill. Yep. Sleepy Boon. Too bad that the umlaut wasn't saving you. I'm rooting for the kids to be involved in I mean, I root for us, obviously. I'm just saying, you know, mm. if someone's going to do well, I want that to be the little old kid. So it looks like we're up on minion kills across the board. Yep. Except for support, the which, kills, which doesn't cares? need and minion kills. Gold, towers. This, this should be. Uh, 
we should be over pretty soon, right? Mm. Ten minutes, maybe. Ooh, the young not knowing that he's on vision. Desire taking tons of damage. Yon trying to go for the lose. Yon all coming out and failing to kill. So why is it shut down? It means that they get a gold, gold bonus for killing somebody who has a uh, kill streak or has been alive. And they get first turret. They get their first turret. Which is a bounty. Meh. I mean, it's a bounty, that, which means they're closer on gold. Yeah, when we're ahead on towers. Ooh, two on four here. And they're being safe here. They played it safe and didn't go in. Ooh, stopping oh, the back. They're trying it. Or they tried to do a setup for it. Didn't work out very well for East Tampa there. And double kill. Or at least double kill. Not the fiddle, so... now so we should be getting Baron, right? Not necessarily, because the fiddle is still alive. <coughs> but he's also, uh... A little occupied. Yeah, he's running away, so why aren't we getting the Baron right now? We are. Why can't... Oh, I think that's game. So, all right, another 2-0 on to the playoffs. Yes, that is a good thing. We should definitely, um, definitely should qualify, and we will see everybody after spring break, and it'll be playoff time. Yes. All right, good game, everybody. Good game.